resuming from shun bhagavatam canto 10 chapter 1 uh, text 5 onwards pita mahame samare marang jayair deva vratadya tirathai stimindilai Durat yayam kaurav sanya sagaram kripa taran vatsa padam smayat lavah. <clears throat> okay, so uh, so the verb is ataran, which means to cross. So ataran sma. Hmm. So summer, eh? summer is the battlefield. So the battle. So in the battle, summer. Eh? So this is Parikshit Maharaj saying uh, regarding his Pitamahas, grandfathers. So, summary. <clears throat> so, Amarang Jayai Dev Pratadyati Rathai Timingilai Me Pita Maha. Um, Yet Plava Duratyam Kaura Vasanya Sagaram Vatsa Padam Kritva Ataran Sma. Okay, so this is the Anvaya. So in the battle summary. Amarang Jayai Dev Vratadya Tirathai Timingalai. So Bhishma Dev and so on, the other great warriors who were the Atirathis, uh, who were like the Timingala fish. So there's a special fish, a Vishesh, Matsa Vishesh, which is called as Timingila. Uh, so now Timi is one big fish, and that fish which is called timi so so the another fish who swallows the fish called timi is called timing gila so timin gilati or nirgalat nirgilati basically gila means to swallow so timi is one fish and then there is one another fish a big one a bigger one uh, which even swallows the timi fish the timi matsa timi so that's called Timingila. So basically indicating that how, uh, like what kind of soldiers or warriors uh, Bhishma Dev and so on they were. They were great, great warriors who would like consume uh, any, they, they would consume like even great warriors. They would defeat them, conquer them. And they were Amarang Jair. But to say of anyone else, they even conquered the demigods. Such Atirathis, such warriors. So by such warriors, uh, you know, in, in duel with them, in fight with them, may Pitamaha, my uh, grandfathers, um, Arjuna, Vigitishra Maharaj, Bhim, Ityadi, so they, um, Duratyayam Kaurava Sanya Sagaram Vatsapadam Yat Plava Vatsapadam Kritva. So they, my grandfathers, they had take, taken shelter of the boat Plava of the Lord, Yat Plava. So they were 
sheltered into the lotus feet of the Lord. They had taken shelter of the Lord. And that's why the Kaurav Senya, the army, the Anika of the Kauravas, which is compared to like an ocean sagaram, which was Duratya, which was very difficult to overcome or defeat. So when they had taken shelter of the Lord, so even such uh, endless ocean of the army of the Kauravas were reduced into Vatsapadam Kritva. So Vatsapadam is Vats is the calf and Padam is the the hoof. So basically it's like a metaphorical usage here, not literal. So the ocean, which is again a metaphor, uh, was reduced into like the size of a calf's footprint. You know? So basically it was con uh, mitigated, reduced to such small uh, such smallness we can say, understand. So Vatsapadam Kritva uh, and Ataran, and then they crossed over. Uh, yes. So taking shelter of the Lord, uh, my grandfathers, they surpassed the unsurpassable uh, Kauravas ocean-like army, having reduced the vastness into the smallness. Vatsapadam Kritva, Ataransma. Just a side point, I was like, uh, so, like, when we are referring to a water body, like, let's say, an ocean, a river, then we need a boat from reaching from point A to point B. Because here, the Korva's army is referred to Sagar, the ocean. So, in an ocean, it's very obvious that we need a boat to cross over. But, when that Sagar has reduced into Vatsapadam, the size of, you know, calves, Foot. So <laughs> we don't even need a boat there, right? <laughs> the boat won't even fit there. I mean, just even from the metaphorical uh, usage point of view. But still, it's such the beauty of the language. Yat plava. So vatsapadam kritva and uh, ataran. Ataran. Ataran is they crossed over. Tarati. It's, this was the Anvaya. Kula Daivatang was what? Uh, which one? It's at the very start of the commentary. King Chasmat Kula Daivatang. Yeah, yeah, I'm just coming to that. Oh, you haven't done that. Okay. So... Sridhar Swami's commentary here. <clears throat> Kimcha Asmat uh, So we are reading from here. So the scan is such, so please uh, bear with me. Kimcha Asmat Kula Daivatam Shri Krishna ha ataha apitat katha eva nityam shrotavya iti ashayena aha. Now, in the previous verse, in the fourth one, it was mentioned that how for the different kinds of people, the liberated, those who want to be liberated, and those who are into sense enjoyment, mukta, mumukshus, and the bhogis. So, for all the categories, hare um, gunanu kathanam. The pastimes, the narrations of the pastimes of the Lord is uh, recommended strongly. But here, in this verse, the purport is, the tika says, Kimcha, moreover, Shri Krishna ha asmat kula daivatam. Shri Krishna is the family, is our family deity. Asmat our kula daivatam, family deity, kula devata. That's why ataha api, the, this is also the reason ataha api uh, 
इवन फॉर दैट रीजन तत् कथा इव नित्यम श्रोतव्य आशयन आह सो इवन फॉर दैट रीजन लाइक इन द प्रीवियस वर्स देर वर फ्यू रीजन गिवन लाइक विच लाइक gives us a proper tangible reason that why we should uh, listen to hari's katha uh, because like any men in the world would lie in either of those three categories mentioned in the previous verse but still here uh, parikshit maharaj is saying that even after that shri krishna is our family deity kula devata and that's why uh, tat katha eva nityam shrotavya his past times narrations should be always heard so by this intention ashayena is he is saying this verse uh, pitamaha me samare amaram jayir ityadi so ashaya ashayena ashaya is the the intention <clears throat> so now he is going personal parikshit maharaj that how shri krishna the lord he he was like with the pandavas helping them and and he actually saved them protected them at each and every step so that's something personal he's mentioning and he will then mention his own relation with the lord personal relation in the next verse uh, the sixth one so pitamaha iti amarang jayanti ye tai so so pitamaha iti the verse begins with pitamaha so amarang jayanti iti so those who have conquered over the demigods the demigods are also called amara amara nirjara deva um vibudhasura tridasha vibudhasura in the amara kosh it says the demigods are also called amaras so amarang jayanti those who have conquered upon the demigods by them देवव्रत रेफर्स टू भीष्म देव भीष्म तत् आद्यई अतिरथ तिमिंगल तिमिंगल ओके तिमिंगल तिमिंगल मत्स्यतुल्य दुरत्यय सो ना देवव्रत रेफर्स टू भीष्म देव भीष्म पिताम सो द अतिरथी beginning with bhishma and so on who were uh, unconquerable duratyam uh, just like the 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 fish called timingila the matsya called timingila duratyam dustaram so they were unsurpassable unconquerable can't be like trans transgressed um so vats padam iv atyalpam kritva tuchhi kritya iti artha so vats padam means although they were unconquerable unsurpassable great warriors but still their shakti their power their might uh, was reduced to nothingness tuchhi kritya so tuchh tuchh is like it has no value agarnya agarnya it's not even countable tuchhi kritya um yeah so their might was reduced to such an extent what's and that's that is mentioned by this metaphor what's a padam so so the the sagaram was reduced to the size of a what's a padam <clears throat> very small atyalpam atarantsma so they crossed over atarantsma so sma this sma refers to past atarantsma uh, pitamaha atarantsma so in this verse karta is pitamaha and mukha karta and the kriya is atarantsma so basically uh, like a very simple basic sentence in this verse is pitamaha atarantsma the grandfathers they crossed over that's all and then the other elements they add up uh, with these uh, words here yah shri krishna evah plavah 
Nauka Yeshante. So in the verse we had this word Yat Pla Yat Plava. So explaining that here, Shridhar Sami says. So this Yat actually refers to Shri Krishna. So Shri Krishna Eva Plavaha Nauka. Plava is the Nauka of whom? Of those. So basically those for whom Shri Krishna is the, the boat. Yat Plava. Basically the, basically the shelter. Boat is again a metaphorical usage referring to the shelter. Yad Ashraya, you can say Yad Ashraya. Ityadi. Tasya Viryani Vadasva Iti Tritya Shloka Gatena Anvaya. So please tell me about the pastimes of such Lord who protected my grandfathers. And the meaning of this verse actually is connected with the meaning of the third verse where uh, Prakshit Maharaj had asked about the Viryani, the the narrations, the pastimes of Lord's uh, different activities, various. So, anvaya means like connection. So it's connected with the meaning of the third verse. Uh, this is the fifth. Okay, so this was Shloka 5. Then moving on with the sixth verse. Dronyastra viploshtamidam madangam Santana vijam kuru pandavanam Jugopa kukshim gataatta chakro Matushjameya sharanam gataya. So <coughs> hmm. So, Yaha Shri Krishna Atta Chakra. So, Atta Chakra is Grihita Chakra. Shri Krishna, who had taken the disc, Sudarshana Chakra, on his hand, Atta Chakra, or the finger rather. Um, Kukshim Gataha, who had entered the womb of Uttara, of course. Kukshim is the womb. Gataha means who had entered and did what? He, uh, Kuru Pandavanam Santana Bijam, uh, Dronyastra Viplushtam Idam. Mad Angam Jugopa. Hmm. Okay, actually, let's do one thing. Let's redo it. So, okay, Yaha Atta Chakraha, the Lord who had taken the disc, Atta Chakra. Then, me sharanam gataya matuhu kukshim gataha. Yeah, this would be fine. So the Lord who had, who was Sudarshan Dhari, who, take, who had taken Sudarshan on his hand, so he entered into the womb of my mother, Me Matuhu, who had taken shelter of him, Sharanam Gataya. So this is one phrase. So Gataha entered, and having entered, he, Kuru Pandavanam Santana Bijam, Dronyastra Viplushtam Idam Madangam Jugopa. And what did he do? He protected Jugopa. He protected um, the Santana Beach of the Kurus, the Pandavas. 
so he protected the seed of the lineage basically you know santan beach uh, yeah so that was the last seed actually of their lineage so so he protected the the seed of the lineage of kuru pandavas kurus pandavas are actually kurus so so they are kuru pandavas uh, it's like for harinama mrit vyakaranam students it's like brahma krishna we studied yesterday uh, like in neuter gender the word is brahma krishna so like kuru pandavas the pandavas are kuru but still kuru and pandava both are mentioned kuru pandavas and uh, what happened to that santan vijam droni astra viplushtam idam madangam so uh, droni refers to ashwatthama so the brahma astra the astra the weapon released by droni ashwatthama was actually viplushtam uh, it was heat burning the burning my body prakshit maharaj saying so the lord actually protected my body my limbs madangam uh, who were burning by the tej or by the astra weapon released by dron uh, the ashwatthama and yeah so that's the anvaya of this words jugopa the simple sentence here is um यह श्री कृष्ण मदंगम जुगोप सो श्री कृष्ण प्रोटेक्टेड माय लिम्स और माय बॉडी दिस इज लाइक द वेरी बेसिक सेंटेंस एंड देन अदर एलिमेंट्स ऐड ऑन सो इन एनी वर्ड्स बिकॉज संस्कृत इज अ वेरी ऑर्नामेंटल लैंग्वेज अलंकृत भाषा सो देर आर मेनी एलिमेंट्स यूज एम्प्लॉयड so you can actually or we can actually look up for the very basic sentence in any words like this yah madangam jugopa just find the basic karta karma kriya doer the subject the object and the verb and then we can add on things uh, the different elements in the shloka we have it really helps okay so that was the anvaya feel free to ask or discuss anything sent for commentary to shloka 6 <clears throat> beginning from na kevalam pandavan eva arakshat so shri krishna not only protected pandavas which was mentioned in shloka 5 uh, pitamaha me samare amarangaye ityadi बट इदम मम शरीर अभी यह रक्षितवान आह सो नॉट ओनली ही प्रोटेक्टेड द पांडवर्स बट ही ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्टेड माय बॉडी मम शरीर अभी इवन प्रोटेक्टेड माय बॉडी सो रेफरिंग टू दैट ही इज सेइंग दिस वर्ड्स परीक्षित महाराज द्रोणी द्रोण्यस्त्र विप्लुष्टम इति सो द वर्ड्स बिगिनिंग विद द्रोण्यस्त्र विप्लुष्टम एंड सो द्रोणे अश्वत्थाम ब्रह्मास्त्रेण दग्धम इदम मत शरीर सो माय बॉडी विच वॉज बर्न और विच वॉज बर्निंग बाय द ब्रह्मास्त्र रिलीज बाय अश्वत्थाम ऑफ बाय द ब्रह्मास्त्र ऑफ अश्वत्थाम लिटरली च कुरुणाम पांडवानाम च संतानस्य निदानम सो आई वॉज द निदान रेफर्स टू द आश्रय इज इट निदान आई थिंक निदान रेफर्स टू आश्रय मे बी रीजन रीजन वन ऑफ द रीजन Yeah. Okay. Nidana in dictionary is cause, a cause of existence. Yeah. So it's like a karana. Hmm. Okay. Karana cause. So like both for the Kuru dynasty, 
the Kuru Vansha and for the, the Pandavas. Because from Duryodhana's Paksha, from the Kauravas army, everyone was dead. So, and in the Pandavas, the five Pandavas were remaining and then this Bija was there. So, in the whole family, for the Kuru and for the Pandavas, for both, um, Parikshit Maharaj, that the child then in the womb, was the, the cause of, you know, the further lineage, the Parampara, Vansha Parampara. Hmm. Santana Sanidana. Because if he would remain, then the progeny would continue and then other offsprings would be there and the generations would continue. So that's why Santana Sanidana. He was the cause of the further generations, we can understand. Nidana. <clears throat> then Mama Matuhu Kukshau Pravishtaha, he entered into the womb of my, my mother, Kukshi, and uh, Dhrita Chakraha, Yaha, and who held the chakra, the Sudarshana chakra, and in this way, Jugopa Iti, he protected me. Jugopa. Iti Anvaya. So, this is the Anvaya. Sixth words. Sorry for just a grammatical point. Is Jitta Chakra uh, Pitambara Samasa? Yes, it is. It's like Pitambara, Pitamambara Yasasa. So Dhritta Chakra would be uh, Dhritaha Chakraha Yena Saha. Okay. Dhritaha Chakraha Yena Saha. Yena. Mm -hmm. Tritya. And this would be a teen and sus. I'm sorry. It it's the one with the the verb first and then the uh, in that way no dhrita is also is a it's a kridanta so it's a noun so it's, oh, okay. it's yeah so it's subanta and subanta if we are we are discussing from you know our study point so it's subanta hmm. and subanta okay thank you dhrita is actually one point one and chakra is also one point okay so that was the commentary to verse 6. And then verse 7. Viryani tasya khila deha bhaja mantar bahi purushaku kala rupai prayachato mrityumuma prayachato mrityumuta vritamcha Maya Manusha Sivadasva Vidvan. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> so, uh, Akhila deha bhajam antar bahihi purusha kala rupaihi mrityum uta amritam cha prayachataha tasya maya manushasya viryani Vadaswa, and this this is Sambodhana, so this, this could come in the very beginning. So, He Vidvan begins with He Vidvan. So, O oh, Vid, O oh, knowledgeable person, O oh, Vidvan, He Vidvan, Akhila Deha Bhajam Antar Bahi. So, who one who is situated inside Antaha and outside Bahihi of all the living entities. Akhila means, Akhila means Sakala, all, and Deha Bhajam. So, basically, Deha Bhaj refers to those who have accepted bodies. So, basically, the Dehi, the living entities. Um, so, so, the Lord who is situated inside and outside of the living entities and who purusha kala rupaihi in the form of 
the Purusha avatar and in the form of the time factor who is who is giving or who is like bestowing um, Mrityum, death and also Amritam, uh, eternity. Then one who is Maya Manushya say, who has accepted or appeared rather in the form of the Manushya, the human form. Uh, so please tell us with Vadaswa the Viryani, the, the narrations, the pastimes of the activities of such such Lord. What kind of Lord? Who, who does, who gives Mrityu, Mrityu and Amritam and who uh, is, is disguised in the form of uh, human body? Iti Anvaya. This is the Anvaya. I believe this numbering system, you know, is helping in understanding like the sequence of the Anvaya. So that was the Anvaya here. The Tika. <clears throat> Akhila Deha Bhajam Sarva Praninam Antascha Bahischa Purusha Rupena Kala Rupai Hicha. So the Lord who is situated inside as Purusha Rupa, that's Paramatma Rup, and outside uh, as the time factor, right, of all living entities. So inside as Purusha Rupa, Paramatma, and outside as uh, the time factor, Kala Rupai. Now Kala Rupai is in Bahuvachana, plural, like Krishnaena, Krishnabhyam, uh, Krishnai, 3.3. So it's Kala Rupai. So Srila Swami says, Anshabhi Prayena, Bahuvachanam. That uh, plural is used here referring to the different divisions or uh, yeah, answers of Kal, the time factor. And then Vanshidharji says uh, that the other factors are like Yuga, Kalpa, you know, Kalpa, then Yuga, and then so many divisions of time are there. Then Varsha, Mas, Ityadi. So these are like different rupas, different forms in which the, the time factor actually manifests itself right so so those are the forms of kal uh, that's why bahuvachana plural has been used kala rupai by the forms of time factor then mrityum refers to sansaram uh, uta api amritam api prachata and so one the lord who uh, who bestows, who gives sansar or who liberates one from sansar? Uh, please, Bruhi, please tell us such lords' characteristics, the virya. virya. Uh, I am Bhava. This is the, so this is the mini. What is the, this is like the, the inner mood, the Bhava that of this already said stated statement that antaryami rupena antar drishtinam muktim uh, dadati. So the Lord, he, he bestows mukti liberation to those who are uh, how will you say antar drishtinam who are uh, any good word for antar drishti who are uh, those who see within okay those who see within introspective right who are introspective who, who are like atma centered <laughs> focusing on the soul yeah introspective who see inside uh, so so the lord bestows mukti liberation to them atma druk atma druk that's are that's, that's a sanskrit equivalent i was looking for an english one yeah, Atmadrik is also good. Atmadrik is actually Atmadrishti, almost same. 
anyhow so when a jeeva he sees within so the lord has the ru- in the form of antaryami paramatma he bestows mukti liberation to such person and those who are bahir drishti nam who see outside basically who are into the vishayas the sense objects and so on so for them kala rupena mrityam dadati so the lord in the form of time factor offers mrityu to them sansara to them yatah atah विषय दृष्टि विहाय अंतर दृष्टिया तद विरियाणी एवं श्रोतव्यानी इति सो द मीनिंग द भाव द पर्पस इज बिकॉज़ दिस इज द थिंग दैट द लॉर्ड ऑफर्स मुक्ति टू सच पीपल एंड द लॉर्ड ऑफर्स मृत्यु टू अनदर सो दैट्स व्हाई अतः विषय दृष्टि विहाय वन शुड गिव अप द the mentality of enjoying the sense objects vishaya drishtim basically the bahir drishtim vishaya drishtim and one should ref- rather antar drishtya through the inner self for, you know being seeing inside focusing on atma the, the adhyatma aspect and then one should tad viryani eva shrutavyani then those pastimes sh- should be heard in such a state by a person who is antar drishti naam Uh, who is seeing within of the normal nirbal no this is the meaning here of text 7th commentary okay so that was the seventh one text 8 maybe the last one for today रोहिण्यास्तन योक्त राम संकर्षण स्वया दर्भ संबंध देहांतर विना सो okay so twaya by you proktah so basically you had mentioned that rohinya tanayah the son of rohini uh, who is like who is ram who is known as sankarshana so you mentioned that he also was the son of devaki devakya tanayah api प्रोक्ता और देवक्या गर्भ संबंध दैट दैट द सेम राम संकर्षण वाज आल्सो देवकीज सन और वाज आल्सो लाइक इन द वूम्ब ऑफ देवकी यू नो गर्भ संबंध संबंध इज रिलेशन गर्भ इज द वूम रिलेशन इज द वूम ऑफ देवकी सो सो एवं प्रोक्ता यू हैड सेड इन दिस वे सो नाउ देहांतर विना कुतः संभव दैट द सेम वूम राम संकर्षण विदाउट गिविंग ऑफ द प्रेजेंट बॉडी विदाउट लाइक देहांतर इज लाइक मृत्यु डेथ एंड देन गेटिंग अनदर बॉडी सो विदाउट दैट प्रोसेस ऑफ रिंकॉर्नेशन और देहांतर हाउ वॉज दैट पॉसिबल from moving from, that the same ram sankarshana could belong to both rohini and both devaki because you mentioned so so how is it possible dehantram vina kutah sambhavati or sambhavishyati or samabhavat because it's in the past so dehantram vina kutah sam asam uh, asambhavat how was it possible uh, so tika will explain uh, a bit about this one so hmm. 
So Nanu here, the last third line, Nanu Balam Gadam Saranam Chadurmadam Vipulam Dhruvam Vasudevas Turohinyam Kritadin Udapadayat. So this is a verse from ninth canto, uh, text chapter 24 and text 46. The translation is Vasudeva by the womb of his wife Rohini begot sons such as Bala, Gada, Sarana, Durmada, Vipula, Dhruva, Krita, and others. So Bala refers to Balarama. So this was one mention uh, by Shukadev Goswami earlier. Re referring to Balaram as uh, Rohini's son. Okay, so Ro Rohinya Stanaya. And then Iti Rohinya. Stanayo Iti Rohinya Stanaya Ramaha Prokta. So in this way, Rama was mentioned as Rohini's son. Now Vasudevas to Devakyam Ashtaputran Aji Janat Kirti Mantam Sushenam Cha Bhadrasena Mudaradhi Bridum Santar Danam Bhadram Sankarshanam Adhishwaram Ashtamastu Tayo Rasit Swayameva Hari Kila. And then Shukadev Goswami further, he mentioned <coughs> that Vasudev, he begot eight children through Devaki or in Devaki, Ashtaputran. And they were Kirtiman, Sushena, Bhadrasena, Mridum, Santardanam, Bhadram, Sankarshanam. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the last, uh, Ashtamastu. Harihi, Swayameva Hari. So here this Sankarshanam is mentioned. So now, in the pre one verse, Balaram was mentioned as Rohini's son, and here um, Balaram is mentioned as Devaki's son. So Iti Punar Devakya Garbha Sambandhas. So again, it is mentioned here that, uh, that Balaram belonged to. Devaki's womb. It, he was in. He was the son of Devaki. Tasya eva uktaha. Sa kutaha ghatata iti akshepa. So the point is the that how was it possible that the same person, without going through another body, he could relate to both the mothers. He was the son of both the mothers. So how was it possible? And the same speaker is saying that okay, Vasudev begot in Devaki. And Vasudev begot and uh, Rohini. So yeah, so this was one question, and that's why the Lord Father he uh, he would and Shukdev Goswami would bring up the katha of how the Lord ordered Yoga Maya to to attract Lord Sankarshana from uh, Devaki's womb to Rohini's womb. So that uh, comes from here. So this was the commentary to the verse. How was it possible? Okay, we'll stop here for today. So anything here to be said, to be discussed?